kind of want to address something here. Um, as you guys know, uh, Andrew Kiddick's been a, a big part of our uh, baseball program for a long time. And, you know, we're sad around here for a number of different reasons, but he's, uh, he's a trooper in, in, in all aspects. And uh, he's made a decision that tomorrow is going to be his last game. And, you know, Andrew's worked. Well, had a thousand games um, and six trips to the College World Series, two national championships, countless super regionals, and um, he's uh, he's certainly the best at what he does. And our, our baseball program won't be the same without him. So, Andrew, thanks, thank you. Coach. I appreciate it. As far as the game, um, it's a tough loss. I mean, it. it, it you know, we, we were battling and competing there and uh, first several innings and got a 2 nothing lead there and uh, got the bases loaded. Adam just wasn't very efficient. His pitch count was awfully high. And, you know, we brought Josh in to, to get us out of a jam and a big three run double there. Uh, and we really couldn't catch up after that. Um, I told our team I was proud of them for leaving it on the field and giving ourselves a chance to win. Uh, uh, and in the ninth inning there, and we just couldn't get that big hit. Uh, we had we had a couple chances to win it. John had a couple great swings at it, and uh, Roe put a good swing on it at the end. Uh, you know, it just it just didn't fall for us. And uh, you know, it's uh, it's been it's been had a no, number of occurrences like that over the course of the season, and uh, I, I feel it for our players. Uh, but you know, they battled hard in that ninth inning there. We didn't do enough in the first eight, I don't think, but. Uh, I'm proud of them for leaving it on the field and uh, giving ourselves a chance to win uh, that important game, but we came up short. How frustrating is that to have multiple guys on base in so many innings but not be able to get their runs across you know, the ninth? At the end of the day, you, you got to perform and you got to get a big hit or make a big pitch. Uh, and I'm not just talking about tonight, I'm talking about in baseball. And, um, you know, we, we we didn't get that big hit. And, uh, and you know, he, he, we pitched well enough to win with the strikeouts we had. and. Yeah, you know, but they got a big hit when the bases were loaded, and and we didn't get a big hit when people were out there. Ultimately, that was the difference in the game. Chad, is it hard to comprehend eight straight weekends of not coming up on top in a series? I mean, is that is that mind-boggling to you? Especially with how, uh, especially with you know how, how how we've lost some of them. Yes, um, if if we're getting our tail kicked and we're not in games, then that's. Uh, tough to comprehend. Uh, it makes it extremely gut-wrenching and difficult when uh, a number of those eight, uh, a pitch here or a swing of the bat there, uh, and when we're in control of the game, we, 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 we come out on, we win more than just one of those, <laughs> probably a number of them. But yes, yeah, it's, it's, uh, at South Carolina, it's very difficult to stomach. And, um, uh, and we hadn't made enough plays. and made enough pitches and got enough hits when the game's on the line. And in this league, when you don't step up, when you have an opportunity to do so, this happens. Go to the challenge team last night to play their best, bring their all. How do you feel they responded to the challenge today? Well, their heart was in the game. Um, and um, they, they, they tried awfully hard. I mean, my kids are hurting. And, and I'm proud of them for giving them a chance, giving us a chance to win in the ninth. And uh, they, they could have tuck their head between their legs and, 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 and went away, especially after the first out, one out nobody on. But Carlos and Alex and a couple guys stepped up there to give ourselves a chance to win. And um, we just couldn't get that big hit. What went into the decision to pinch hit Matt for the rally? We were bunting right there, and Matt's a better bunter. Um, and, uh, you know, we had to get those the tie and run to second base, and Matt's a great bunter, and I just put him in there, and he you know, just bunted it back to the pitcher. Riley has come up with some big hits, though. Did it cost your mind to let him swing and try to split a gap? Um, what, it, what it did was I can sleep with him. I, 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 if, if I'd have let him swing and he hits in a double play, then, uh, you know, I wouldn't sleep for weeks. And, um, you know, one run right there, uh, it, it, you still got a pretty good chance. But, you know, just didn't get a bunt down. And uh, we had other couple chances, you know, and we hit in double plays. You know, when we let them swing, 
and uh, I don't know how many double plays we hit into tonight. I remember two, Riley hit into one the previous at bat, and, uh, and LT hit into one uh, as well. And, um, you know, the double play obviously creeps in my mind. You try to get a runner to third with less than two outs. Um, it's a baseball percentage play. It just didn't work out for us.